hello beautiful people yeah welcome to my vivi creations channel and on this channel these are what i upload and i upload videos every week so today we'll be making this ball dress okay and if you're new to this channel i say a very big welcome to you do well to hit on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. So I have this basic bodice pattern which I'll be using today. So I'll be linking it in the description box in case you don't know how to draft it so that you can go ahead and watch it. Okay, so now let's get started. I have my fabric here. I'm actually trying to manage it. So I've divided it into two. This for the back and this for the front. So I'll place it on fold. So what I'll do just to place it on fold in such a way that you can take my pattern. Okay, this is it. And I have it here. So I'll go ahead and cut. So just following the pattern, I'll go ahead and cut. So I have the front for this here. Okay, you can see this. This is beautiful. So I also cut the back. Also cut the back. I'll just place my fabric in such a way that it will be able to take the back. So this is it. So this is for the back and this is the front okay so now i would cut the satin for it okay so i'll cut my satin for the top part so just to place it on fold then i'll cut the front so you can actually use this you can use the pattern to do that you can use the lace or you can use the pattern to cut out the the satin so i'll cut out satin and i'll also cut out lining so this is just it i'll cut it out and i also cut lining for it okay so I have cut out the lining and the satin. Okay, so this is the satin to be under this under the lace, then the lining. So I have everything assembled here. I have the satin under the lace, then my lining. So there are different ways of sewing the lining to have a neat finishing. But because of the hard net, that is the lace is, is, is thick. So I'll be using the method of just sewing the lining to it. So I've sewn the lining, okay? So I sew the neckline and the armhole. So that's all you do. You sew the neckline and the armhole. Then for the back, you sew the neckline, the armhole, and the zipper area, okay? So the neckline, armhole, and zipper area for the back. Now, I will turn the front, only the front. So you make sure you notch your neckline and your armhole. Then you turn. So just turn it to the right side. For now, we are turning only the front, okay? So just turn to the right side. So if you're dealing with a plain fabric like satin or any simple fabric, you can iron it, that is, you can press it. But I'm using a hard, a hard lace, so I won't press it. All I'll do is just to smoothen it out. Okay, so I'm just smoothing it out like so, so that it will come out smooth. 
so this is it so what the same thing you achieve if you iron it so that's what i'm doing so i have it here okay so now we'll place it at the back panel now just know that i have not turned the back the back is still the way it is i've not turned it now i'll pick the front and i would insert it into the back and this is how i'll place it the lining side facing the lining side like so so i'll pass it in okay so you can see what i'm doing i'll just pass it into the back so that i can stitch the shoulder and this is how i have placed it the lining side so i'm taking it in like this so i'll take it into the shoulder okay so just put it here into the shoulder make sure it is aligning there make sure it is aligning at the shoulder so you can just hold it down with your pin So I also do the same thing to the other one. I'll just insert it into the shoulder of this one. So I also hold it down with my pin. Then I will stitch by half an inch. Okay. So make sure it is aligning when you place it. Make sure it is aligning there. Okay, let's trim out rough edges. So I'll hold it down with my pin and I'll go ahead and stitch. So I have it there. So I'll go ahead and stitch it, okay? So by the time I stitch it, I'll turn it and you see what we have there. So after sewing the shoulder, this is what you have. Okay, so now I'll turn it out. Just bring it out. You can see what we have here. So just bring it out and have it here at the shoulder. Okay, so this is it for the top part, though we're not done yet. So if this were to be just a plain fabric, you just go ahead and give it a good press. Okay, so just press it. So now we would, we would sew the sides. Okay, so sew the sides. And this is how we we'll do it. Just open it up like so. Okay, so want to sew the sides. And this is what you will do. So by the time you open it up, by the time you, you fold it this way, you sew the main fabric to the main fabric. And you sew the lining to the lining like this. So you can see what I've done. So the main fabric, that is the lace and the satin together. And the lining together. So this is how I've opened it, okay? So you just stitch like this. So I hope you understand what I just did. So I'll take it all over again. So this is my dress, the top, just place it this way after joining the shoulder. So you just bring it together like this. Then you pick the main fabric like this and you pick the lining like this. So you go ahead and stitch. So I took one inch seam allowance and that's how I would stitch it. So you stitch by the allowance you took. So I'll stitch by one inch seam allowance. So I'll stitch this side and I'll do the same thing to the other side. So this to have a neat finishing inside. You can see I have stitched it main fabric to main fabric, lining to lining. So now I'll bring it down. You can see what we have inside. Okay, so you can see it's very neat. It's 
see the side, the armhole, and the shoulder. So you can see. So this is it. So we are done with the top. We are done with the top. So now we would proceed to the skirt. That is the down part of the dress. Up. Okay. Now we would proceed in making the skirt. That is the down part of the gown. So that is what we'll do next. So to make the skirt part, I'll be needing two. So I have four yards of two here. Satin, lining, and hard net. So for the hard net, I might be using it, I might not be using it. So by the time I finish making use of my two, if it's full enough, I won't be using the hard net, okay? Because what I have here is four yards of two. So if you want it very, very full, you have to, okay, get enough two, okay? So but I'm using four yards and I'll show you how to cut it. So now I would cut my satin. So I'll be cutting... 180 degree flay on my satin the total length of the gown is 27 inches and the top that is the half length is 9 inches meaning that the down pass will be 18 inches so that 18 inches i'll be cutting it on my two then the satin will be two inches shorter than the two okay because we don't want it coming out so it will be two inches shorter than the two so i'll be cutting 16 inches on my satin then the lining i'll also be cutting the lining i'll also be cutting 180 degree flay on the lining but the lining also will be shorter than the the satin by two inches also or one inch so now i would fold my satin so this is it so i just placed it on fold okay so by the time you place on fold, you would fold it this way again. Okay, so you fold on bias like so. So you can see this. So you might want to know the length of satin to cut out or to fold. So what I did is this. The length of the the satin to cut out you have to first of all know the radius okay so since i'm cutting 180 degrees i would get my radius by dividing the waist that's the waist circumference of the child i'll divide it by 3.14 okay so if you're if you're making 360 degree flay we divide the waist circumference by 6.28 so since um, 180 degree is half of 360 so that's 6.28 you divide it by 2 what you get is 3.14 so we are dividing the waist circumference here by 3.14 so just bear that in mind that when you're making 180 degree flay you find you get the the radius the radius is what we'll be cutting out at this the top of this of this to, to get our waist circumference okay so by the time you have placed on bias like this, the next thing to do is to find your radius. So here the waist circumference is 22. 22 inches, right? Plus my zipper allowance. So one inch zipper allowance, that is 23. So 23 divided by 3.14. That is 7. Okay, so my radius is 7 inches. Then the radius plus the length of the flay. I said I want the length of the flay to be 16 inches. The two will be 18 inches, okay? But I'll still add one inch because I'll be hemming it at the damper. Then you'll be joining the top side. So half inch for joining at the top, half inch for hemming at the down. So all together, what I'll be cutting for the flay will be 17 inches. Okay, so like I was saying, you want to know the fabric to cut out. You the length of your flay plus your radius, add it together. That is what you should cut out from your from your fabric. Or you just go ahead and fold your fabric, then you cut out your flay, like you have seen me, like I like I just did. Folded my fabric into two, 
then I folded on bias so so from this top now I would measure seven inches that is my radius so I'll mark seven inches all around so just the way we make a flay so I'll just mark seven inches So I have it here. So just mark it. So this is my seven inches. So I hope you can see this. So this is it. So from here, I can mark the length of my flay. So like I said, the length will be 17 inches. 17 inches. So this is it. So I'll mark my 17 inches. So I have my 17 inches flay here. Now I will cut out. So just cut out from here, from there. So I've removed the radius and I've cut out. So here is my flay. So I also cut the same thing on the lining, but the lining will be two inches shorter than the satin. Either two inches or one inch. One inch is still okay. So, so this is my lining. So you can see it's one inch shorter than the satin. So I'll also show you how to cut the two. Okay. Here I have four yards of two. Four yards. Okay. So what I did was to just fold it. I folded it by the width. So looking at it, you see this. I folded it by the width. Okay. So let me use paper to illustrate it to you. How I folded it too. So like I said, the it is four yards. So on the part where you, the four yard is measured. So let's say this is the four yards. The, the that is the width, and this is the length of the two. Okay, so on this part, what I did was to just fold it. So you can fold it like four times. After folding, I folded again. Okay, so that is exactly what I have done on the two. So I have opened it up, but that is what I have done. So on the let the, the four yards part I folded okay to get this and that is what you are seeing here so after so now that I have folded it so I'm using the paper to locate it to so that you understand since I have folded it I will now measure the length of the two I said I want the length to be 19 inches okay so let's assume this is 19 inches here okay so from the top i measure 19 inches so after measuring 19 inches i would cut it out then i will use it again to cut the next 19 inches so with the measurement i have i'll be cutting out three okay so with the, with the 19 inches i'm cutting out i'll be able to have three sets that is three layers from the length of the two so after cutting out the second 19 inches i'll place on it on the remaining two and also cut out so i'll have three inches so i hope this is clear to you so that is what i will do on my two okay that's exactly what i'll do after folding it on this length side like so so i'll go ahead so i will still arrange it well on the floor just like what i showed you on the paper so i'll go ahead from the top i'll measure my 19 inches by the time i measure my 19 inches i'll cut it out i'll place it again and cut out the next 19 inches and still cut out the third one so i'll have up to three from the length of these two Okay, I'll, I'll get, I would have up to three layers. So, I have everything here. So, I've shown you how to cut the two and this is it, okay? 
so like i said you have three layers that is three parts of it so i cut them like so so what i'll do now is to join them so i'll open them up and join the three so by the time i join the three i would make a running stitch so you can do that either with your sewing machine or with your needle and thread so i just join the three together so no matter the number you have you cannot you can just join everything together and you make a running stitch so this is it just opening them up so i want to make gathers okay so by the time i make running stitch i will now pull it to have the waist measurement of the child so the waist measurement is 22 for my zipper allowance so i'll just what i'll do is this i'll pull the two okay to give me the waist measurement or better still you pull it to have what you have on your flay okay so you just pull the net after you've made a running stitch on it so you pull it to have this measurement you have on your satin because you'll be joining it to the satin so i'll go ahead and do just that so by the time i join the three together i would pull it so i'll, I'll have a full net so by the time i pull it together to be full okay so i'll go ahead and do that and i'll show you this. so you can see how i'm pulling it and gathering it together but it's not going to be like this i have to spread it on the satin so this is the satin my flay okay so i would arrange it on the flay so i have to arrange it on the flay so this is what i'll do so still leaving my needle and thread on it i'll place from one side this is the beginning so from this side i'll just hold it down with pin on the satin okay so i'll just hold it down with pin here then i'll try to arrange it so i'll just try to arrange it on the satin As I do this, I make sure that they are even. Okay, what I mean by that is not having one side being so much, not having too much gathers on one, on a particular side. Okay, so I just try to distribute it evenly. So that is what I'm doing. Just trying to distribute it evenly till I get to the other end of the satin. Okay. So this is it so what i'll do now is just to join it so i'll sew it to the satin okay so i'll sew it to the satin you have it there and after sewing it i'll attach it to this part to the top okay so you can see it's already beautiful i've sewn the two to the satin okay and this is what i have so this is it okay so now i would just add a little hard net okay also known as can can i will add it to the that i'll sew it to the lining just to add a little more fullness to this so I'll just so in just one layer of hard net so to sew the hard net to your lining you would give a little space from the top because you don't want by the time you sew it you don't want it to be touching the baby skin 
so you give a little space about one or two inches from the top then you sew in your net then also at this side you do the same thing you give about one or two inches before you start sewing the net so that by the time you join your your lining there's no part of the net that will touch the baby skin because it is rough okay so we don't want the baby to be uncomfortable so i would cut my net i'll cut it into two then join it and just split it on my lining so i have sewn my nets you can see it how i pleated it so you can have more than one layer of net so if you want it very full you can have more than one layer so you can cut your net after sewing one layer you sew another layer so you can have up to two layers of net to make it very full but this is just okay for me so now i would sew this to the top so to the top so what i'll be doing is joining the lining to this so i'll sew the lining to it like so so you can see what i'm doing i'll sew the lining so by the time i finish sewing this rough part would be okay it will be inside the it will be facing the satin why the the other side will be touching the baby skin so this other side where we don't have nets will be touching the baby skin so the baby will not feel um, uncomfortable so the net part will be in between the satin okay and the the net will be in between the satin and the lining so that's how it's going to be so this is how you sew it so you just sew it to the lining like so okay so you can see how i picked it in it will be in and at the back you have it clean like this okay so I'll go ahead and sew it so just starting from the hem the joining here you sew in the lining like so so lining to lining so that is how i go and sew it now okay i have joined the lining to the lining so you can see it here okay and on the other side you have it like this so you can see the net will not touch the baby skin so this is it so now we would join the other one so we'll join this one to the main fabric okay so we'll join this one to the main top and how you do that just flip over this one that's you just join it like so okay so you join it like so so i have opened up this zipper area a little bit so that i can join it so all the way to the other side so after this step i'll show you the next step okay so i've joined it you can see what we have here okay so now to the back now i will turn my lining so this is what i want to do since i will be adding zipper and my zipper will get to this skirt part at least about two to three inches from this joining here so what i'll do is i'll close it up using the lining okay so i'll sew it up using the line and this is how i'll do it i'll just go this way like so so just turning it and i would sew it down so this is what i'll do i'll just sew it down up to where i want my zipper to end that's where i'll sew it using the lining like this because these other ones i'll sew them separately that is i'll sew individual nets like that i won't join them together i'll sew them separately so just where my zipper would end that is where i'll just hold together 
so i hope this is clear so this is the back side you know we have sewn in the back for our zipper so i would also sew up to three inches so from this joining three inches is what i'll take that is where my zipper would end so i'll sew it up now with the lining like this up to that place okay then the other part of the skirt will be sewn individually that is the satin to the satin and each net individual net to the net the lining to lining so i hope this is clear so i'll do that by the time i do it you understand so i'll go up i am I'll go ahead close up this side with the lining by three inches so by the time i turn it you have it sewn with the lining because the zipper i'll be the zipper method i'll be using is the overlapping method so you can see what i mean i've closed it up okay with the lining up to three inches so this is where my zip my zipper would end so that's what i did to the two sides okay so you can see this other side so like i said it to be and the zipper method i will use is the overlapping method so that is really best for children's ball gown the overlapping method so this is it now before joining the zipper i would sew I will sew from the down. So now we'll turn it this way. Like I said, I want to sew individual nets to individual nets so that it will be full at the back. So now everything will be sewn individually. The the lining will be sewn individually. So I'll sew it in so that it will be neat. I have neat finishing there so this is how i'll sew the lining i'll sew the lining separately i would sew the satin the satin will be sewn separately so you can see how i'm doing it i'll sew the satin i'll sew the satin then the nets individually so I have three layer and um, three layers of nets, not really layers, but three sets of nets. Okay, so I'll sew them individually, one by one, like so. So we we'll sew this one, we we'll sew the next one, one by one. That is how I would sew them. Okay, so that is it. So just pick it one by one. Like starting from the lining start from the lining like so I'll sew the lining in to that point where my zipper will stop I'll sew the lining then I'll sew the satin then I'll sew the net okay so by the time I'm done sewing I would have it I'll, I'll have it this way inside okay then my zipper would come so I'll go ahead and sew. So you can start with any one. I, I can decide to start. Okay, let me just start with the net. So the outer net first. Like this. Okay. So I'll start with the outer net. So I don't want to just sew everything together. Because I want it to be full at the back also. So this is the outer net. I'll start with it. So I'll just sew it down. By the time I'm done sewing this one down, I will bring the other one like so and sew it. Bring the next one just like that. Then bring the satin, sew it, then sew the lining like this. So I just hope this is clear to you. So let me go ahead and sew it. So I have closed the 
lining and the hardness the satin so you can see like i said i'll be sewing them individually so you see it you see them they can open separately on their own so this is it okay so that is what i'm trying to say individually like that and this is the inside you can see how neat it is so now i would hem the down i would hem the satin and the lining so just fold it that is fold hem that's what i'll do so to the zipper so i'll turn to the right side then i will fix my zipper so i'll be using the the overlapping method to fix my zipper So just make sure that everything is smooth inside okay have it there so I would use pin to hold it down just to show you how to sew it so the one on the left would just lie flat close to the seat of the zipper like so i hope you can see this to just lie flat okay like so so i'll use my pin to hold it down then you see it so i've sewn i've used my pin to hold this side okay you can see this so this side the the left side will just lie flat okay then why this other one would overlap it so this other one would overlap it so i'm not folding anything just the way it is that is how it would come over this one okay so that is it so to just overlap it like so so i also hold it down with my pin so i believe by now you should know how to fix zipper the overlapping method so that is what I'm doing so the essence of the overlapping method is just to cover the teeth of the zipper so don't want it showing so this is what it should look like by the time i'm done sewing the zipper so i'm just holding it down with pin so i'll go ahead now and stitch so you can see the overlapping you can see this one is covering the zipper like this and that is how it should be so this is it okay and this is the front So our bow gown is ready and beautiful. Then after the zipper, I would hem the satin and the lining. Then I will also make belt for it. So the belt will be detachable. Okay, it can be attached at the center or it can be detachable, whichever. So by the time I finish fixing the zipper, I would determine what kind of belt I would use for it okay so for the belt I measured two times the waist measurement of the child okay so and I just sew it and leaving a space where I'll turn it from so that is it where you turn from so this is it so I'll use my pencil and turn it from so you can see what I did after sewing here I made it flat and sew up this side so 
I'm turning it. So it's coming out from here. And I'll do the same thing from this other side. So coming out so this is the belt so the next thing is to iron it so I'll just give it a good press okay so I'll iron it down and this will be at the center that is this side will be down this side will have the stitch will be down and the belt will be like this okay so by the time I iron it I'll have it like this so this is it then I also have a bow at the center so this is my bow I also leave a space for turning it so it's just going to be a small bow So I have it here. You can just use pin to push it out very well. So this is it. So the next thing now is just to cut a little piece of fabric, just a little. So I'll fold it. Then I'll just bring my road, my bow together like this at the center. Then I'll use my. You can sew this up. Okay, you can just sew it. So let me just show you what it will look like so you can just sew it up and you make your bow like so so i'll use my needle and thread to tack it under here so i'll just tack it with needle and thread then it will be at the center of the belt like so here so I'll just go ahead and make it neat, okay? So I've sewn my small piece. So now I'll just, at the center of this rectangular shape, I'll just pleat it and place this at the center, like so. Okay, then I'll make it tight. And also press it here to be flat. So I'll use my needle and thread and tack it at the back there. So after tacking it, you cut out the excess. So now I'll also attach this to the center of my belt. So I'll fold my belt. So I will have to iron down this, okay? So I'll give it a good press so it will be flat. So I have given it a good press. So now I'll find the midpoint of the belt. And this is it. So this is where I would attach my bow. So this is where I'll attach my bow. I'm just marking it so I'll place my bow at that point then I would attach using my needle and thread so I still have my needle and thread on the bow so I'll just place it there and I'll sew so I'm just attaching the lower part of the bow to the belt so I'm not bringing out the stitch from the top here just from the under so you just do this until the bow is firm on the belt okay I have it there 
so you can go ahead and decorate the bow that is embellished shades so i'll be adding stones on it just to you know embellish it i'll be adding stones so this is just okay so now i would attach it to the dress i still have my thread on the belt so i'll just use it to attach it on the dress so just mark the midpoint of the dress I'm just folding it. So this is the midpoint here. So I can attach the belt now. I've also made my belt loop. Can you see the belt loop? So I'll pass the belt through it so that the belt can stay in place. So I have it there. And also on this side. So I have my so even if this is to be a detachable belt with a loop it will stay in place so even without attaching it the loop would help to hold the belt in place okay so now I would still attach the the belt because this is not a detachable belt so I still have my needle and thread on the belt so i'll just use it to attach it so what i'll do i'll just pass it through the dress and when i bring it out i won't let it come out to the front of the belt so just under the bow there just under the bow, that is where I'll bring out my thread. So I have it here. So you can see this. Then at the back, like I said, you can make your belt as long as you want. So this is just okay. Just knot it and have it at the back, like so. This is just okay so our dress is ready our dress is ready so this is it so i would just embellish the bow with stones so i'll use stones to embellish the bow and the dress will be ready and this is the complete outlook so i hope you like this thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so also turn on the notification bell see you next time bye